Hello everybody, this is Rich Cespedes and I'm here to analyze the famous or not so well-known video clip of a Chinese man doing a telekinesis, some awesome, he's like the best I've seen thus far, you know, and um, I'm going to explain how he does it. Right here he's going to use some bricks. Now right here, what he probably practiced with this was that he used anticipation. He probably practiced putting the bricks half on the table and half off, almost making it to where the, the brick was going to fall on its own. That allowed him to anticipate and to predict that it will go forward or back. And then he then practiced putting it more further on the table and did a better job. Right here you can see the chi energy. He's going to push with his chi energy. You can see the cloth on the edge of the table. Again, I think he worked with ambient energy, with airflow. Right here, it's gonna pop. Why? Because I think that what he did was he used candles. You know how they use those candles for therapeutic, those small candles they put in the back and stuff? He practiced trapping that heat in the jar and used anticipation and prediction. And he knew it was gonna pop, so he anticipated it and he used anticipation to predict. And right here, he's pushing um, a blue bowl. He, again, I think that he worked with ambient energy. You know, he let the object become affected by the ambient energy. You know, he probably used like lighter objects like coffee cups and little cough starving cups, whatever. And just let the object go and flow and just watch how it moved with ambient energy flowing around it. And uh, he just utilized anticipation, predicting how it will move, where it will move. And just going with the flow and letting it go where it wants. Uh, uh, telekinesis to me I think it is chance and it's a combination of uh, of coincidence chance anticipation belief prediction those are all things that when interfused loosely but yet strongly you can move objects that's what telekinesis is it's like a ballet of this of this kind of uh, balance you know it's like a very frivolous balance of, of just trying to fuse yourself with the object that's why you put the object with the bricks on the edge so you can predict and interfuse to let it fall where it wants and working with the blue bowl with ambient energy let it flow where it wants as Rick says I think